Hello everybody and welcome to this series of tutorials. My name is Elizabeth Langdahl and I am the Director of Health and Human Rights Info. In this series we will introduce you to the manual on how to meet survivors of gender-based violence. The manual is called Mental Health and Gender-Based Violence Helping Survivors of Gender-Based Violence in War and Conflict. This manual is available as a hard copy as a digital version that you can download from our website hhri.org. This manual is also available in Arabic, Russian and Spanish. I know that some of you are new to the language and the technical terms that we use, but don't worry, we will explain it as we go along. Gender-based violence, trauma, trauma reactions, triggers, stabilization techniques, metaphors, and the butterfly woman and of course what do we mean by using human rights based approach we will explain it later so why did we make this manual we have experienced that in a lot of places where gender-based violence have been experienced by survivors there are no access to psychological or psychiatric help we have searched the internet we have searched different organizations but we have not found any tool that can actually help the helper so that she can help the survivors. This manual is a small low threshold tool to assist the helper to provide assistance for the survivor in her everyday life. Before we continue I'd like to emphasize that this is not a therapy manual but a training manual. We would like through this manual give you some tools on how to meet the survivors. Some of these tools you already know, but maybe we can give you some additional tools. And for example, we would like to show you how you can explain to the survivor what is the meaning of trauma? What is the meaning of traumatic reactions and how can you deal with these reactions? For some women, it's really, really difficult to understand that they have these flashes of fear or flashbacks and they don't really know how to deal with this. In this manual, we will give you some tools and try to teach you something that you can bring further on to your survivor. This manual has been written by several professional women that has a long experience working with the trauma and trauma treatment. And that means that even though these are professionals, you as a helper doesn't have to be a psychologist or psychiatrist to help the survivors. They will give you the advice that you need. This manual has been tried out in different countries so that we know that this manual is cultural applicable. For example, we wanted to know if the metaphor about the butterfly woman could be used both in Colombia in Cambodia, in Turkey, and Jordan, and of course in Norway. We have gathered information from the participants of the training, we have adjusted the manual, and we have made it more valuable, more useful for you as a helper. Because sometimes we have tried different ways, and the participants of the training, they say, mm, we don't quite understand this. So we've gone back, for example, to the metaphor, see how can we explain this better? How can we make this more useful for you as a helper in the situation that you are right now? The manual has been divided into three parts. The first part is the introduction. It's what you need before you start the training. The second part is the actual training. The training part is divided into the left side and the right side. If you can imagine a manuscript, a manuscript, you have the page that tells you what you as a actor needs to know to perform your play. On the left side, it's what you actually say loud. So that is also how we have built up this training part. In addition, we have different icons. We have uh, icons for discussions, for uh, key points, for role plays, and for exercises. The third part is a theoretical part. If you want to dig 
further into the different topics that we're talking about. For example, PTSD or children born out of rape or nightmare or other issues that you want to know more about, you can read this part. But it's also important to know that you don't need to read the different parts after each other. You can choose whether it's to start with the theoretical part, jump to the first part and just use bits and pieces of the training. It's not a training manual that you need to use from page one to page 170. You choose what is important for you in the work that you do there and then. So welcome to this first tutorial of the gender-based violence. And if you follow us closely and read the manual, you might get a certificate at the end after concluding with a test. Also, I encourage you to follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. We will continuously share with you information about mental health and the consequences of human rights violations in war and conflict areas. I encourage you to visit our website www.hhri.org. We share information about mental health and human rights violations. If you have any suggestions or recommendations for us to discuss in our next tutorial, please get in touch with us. See you again at the next tutorial.